One of the fastest, easiest, and proven online business ideas to build today is what we call data-driven libraries. In this video, I will show you step by step, going from zero, finding the idea, building the business, and promoting it to get your first customers. If you are new to my channel, I'm Hassan. I have been online for more than nine years. I built Promoter Kit, Tool Digest, Power Kit, Simpler M, and Learn with Hassan. And here on my channel, I share advanced and new digital business ideas and marketing tips powered by AI. My video has no ads, so you can enjoy ad-free experience and focus on building and growing your business. If you are ready, let's get started. So what is a data-driven library business? It is simply collecting some data, building a library, and then selling access to this library. Let me show you some examples so you can grasp the idea easily. The first one is TypeShare. You can see here they collected and built a library of templates, like tweet templates, LinkedIn posts, templates, threads, and so on. You can see in the templates, they have a library for all these types of content. So you can simply pick this library and create content based on it to help you write content faster. The second website is Creator Hooks. It is a library of successful YouTube video titles and thumbnails. So as a YouTuber, you can access this library and find patterns and titles that helps increase CTR and grow YouTube channels. Another website is my library, the Micro SaaS Business Ideas Explorer. Here, I built a library of business ideas, validated business ideas. Number four is exploding topics. This one is a library of topics that are trending or will trend in the future based on some algorithms. So in short, again, you collect some valuable data and sell access to this data. So the first step is to find an idea to build a library around it. Today we have AI. So what I did is I created this prompt for you, data library brainstormer. Just copy this template. I will leave the link in the description and then paste in ChatGPT and here enter a topic or something. For example, I want something for YouTubers. So I want to build a library targeting YouTubers. Let's see. And now it will start brainstorming and give you ideas like the trend spotter. Automatically aggregates trending topics and keywords from multiple platforms and create this library based on that from Reddit, Google Trends, and so on. The second is comment insights. It will also give you the data sources, monetization strategy, how it helps, target users. Then we have sponsor scout and so on. So the easiest way is to brainstorm with AI or maybe you have an idea you want to build and that's great. We can jump into step number two. Now for me, while I was preparing the video, I found this idea with AI, Reddit questions or Reddit complaints. So I built this library, customer pain points. I scraped Reddit and collected problems people are facing. So this way you have business opportunities and problems to solve online. So you can provide services or build a business based on this library. In this video, I will show you step by step how I build this library. I'm sure you will love this. And because I want to show you how to build this without coding and super fast, we need a no code automation tool. One of the best is make.com. I chose make because you can get started totally for free. Number two, you can build almost any automation you want. It's fully customizable and it has some special features like building AI agents super fast and their new interesting feature, the make grid that we will see in action in this video. Not only that, I have parked with make so you can now get the pro plan for 30 days totally for free using the link in the description below. So just join Make, sign up, go here to scenarios in your account, and let's build the data collection logic using no code with Make. So click on create a new scenario. And now to save time and to make things easy for you, just import the scenario you'll find in the description below. Click on input blueprint here. Choose the file, pick the JSON file, save, and boom, 
we get this simple scenario. So let me explain this scenario in like one minute. It's super simple. The first step here, I pass a topic to OpenAI, to the AI, to generate some keywords. You can see here, I have a topic and I generate some keywords that I can use to search Reddit. After I get the keywords, I iterate, I loop through these keywords and I call AP5. Let me show you what is AP5 and what I created there. Here on AP5, you will find API endpoints. It helps you scrape the web easily, like Instagram, Google Maps, TikTok, Amazon, any website you want, you can find a scraper here on AP5. Let's go to the console. And what I found is this Reddit API scraper actor. This API that can scrape Reddit and collect posts. For example, you pass this keyword, any keyword you want, and then you simply click on start. And in a few seconds, the scraper will finish and you will see the output here. We get the results, you see? And here is the post data, everything in this table. So what I did simply is I created this actor in just one click here inside AP5 and connected it with make. So this module here is simply running this actor, Reddit API scraper. And this JSON here is simply this JSON here. You see JSON mode, you get this JSON and you pass it here and you add the value coming from the keyword. So this is the value, the keyword we are searching for. That's it. Then we get the results here, this module will get the set items so it will read the data from ap5 again if you go here to the runs you will see i run it multiple times and if you go down here to the output as we mentioned we have this data set so simply we are reading the data with this module then we iterate over each of these records that we got from reddit and using ai we analyze it so I didn't only collect the data and this is very important. I analyze with AI and then I get the pain point summary, the opportunity and the tags. Using OpenAI, I simply convert to a structured data like JSON and then I convert the JSON and save in my database. Now, in my case, I'm using MongoDB to save this data. You can use any database you want. I use Mongo simply because I have my own Qlify server. I can install anything for free like Mongo or Press, anything I want, I can install in one click on Coolify. I explained this two weeks ago, how to install Coolify and set up anything you want easily on your own server. So I collect the data with AP5, analyze with AI and save in Mongo. Perfect. So let's run this scenario once, enter a topic, for example, about building SaaS on WordPress. So what will happen now is the AI will generate multiple keywords based on my topic. It will scrape Reddit, collect the data, analyze with AI and save to Mongo. I hope the idea is somehow simple. We are just collecting data from Reddit, analyzing with AI and saving to our database to build our library. So let's wait a little bit. And perfect, we got 30 records in our database. Let me show you this. I will open Mongo. Connect, let's go to test here, then Reddit data. And you will see now I have 143 records in my database. I built a library of 143 records. Perfect. You see each have a title, a text, the opportunity, the author, the pain point summary, and the tags. So we have the data. We can build now the library, the UI, the user interface, the one you see here, this one. You will see now how easy it is. So back to make, let's go to scenarios again. And you are going to create a new scenario that reads the data from our database. So create a new scenario. Again, just click on input blueprint, get the second JSON file, save, and boom, we get the second scenario. It's very simple. We are just using a web hook like an API endpoint to read data from Mongo and return it back. Let me show you how this works. If you open this webhook, you will find a URL that Make will generate for you. Just copy it. And if you open your browser and just paste this URL, enter, you will see we are going to get all data from Mongo in JSON format. 
So we have like an API endpoint to read data from Mongo using no code with make, with this endpoint. So now we have the engine that collects and saves data inside Mongo. And we have the second scenario that allows us to read data from Mongo. Now we are ready to read this data and represent it in this awesome interface. But before I show you how to build this UI without coding, I want to highlight a great feature inside Make. They launched recently, which is Make Grid. This awesome feature that gives you a full visual map to all your automation workflows, apps, and data flows. And you can see which scenarios exactly are connected to which assets and services like Google Sheets or tables, databases, webhooks, and much more. For example, you can see here that my webhook that I built right now is connected to Mongo and our AP5 scenario is connected to Mongo. This way, it helps you troubleshoot your scenarios easily and show you exactly what is connected. So in case you want to change something in Mongo, you will know that both scenarios will get affected. And this is very important not to break scenarios connected to same services. Other important feature of Grid is helping you explain your scenarios to your team or to your clients. With this awesome visualization, explaining your scenarios becomes way easier. It will even show you an alert here if any of the objects requires your attention to fix in case of any problem. You can even filter out here your active scenarios by team, by scenario folder, scenario apps. For example, you can select the webhooks and you can see the enabled webhook directly here and filter them. It's a real game changer in building and managing no-code automation workflows on May. Now let's go back and see how we can build this awesome UI without coding. Again, hope into simple LLM, public prompts, and we have this one, the smart WordPress snippet builder. Copy this template and maybe you noticed I'm here using WordPress. Yes, WordPress because it's one of the fastest and easiest ways to build your MVPs, microSaaS, and project without worrying about the technical stuff. WordPress provides a dashboard, user management, databases, APIs, everything. So you just need to focus on your business idea and creating this awesome interface. So what I do usually is I simply go to Cloud and I paste this prompt. And in the features here, I describe what I want. Like in my case, I want to build a UI for my library using the API endpoints below. And then here add the prefix, for example, lwh-lib, anything that makes your short code or your tool unique. And for the CSS, to avoid any conflicts with WordPress, and simply go here and enter the API request and the response example. So just grab the URL, paste it here, and just copy part of this JSON so the AI can understand how it works and paste it here. Just run. And now this prompt will ask you some questions on how you would like the UI to be. So you just answer these questions and Cloud in minutes will generate the full snippet for you. You just copy it, go to your WordPress website, go to dashboard and go to plugins, install this plugin called Code Snippets. This one here, go to snippets and then simply add a new snippet, call it for example, anything, result library and just paste the code here and activate the plugin. Then simply grab the short code that was generated. This one, go here, create a page and add the short code here. Look at the magic now, view the page and boom, we get the library here inside WordPress. Now you can simply lock this area for premium members using any membership plugin. So users need to pay or join your membership to access this 
library. But before you generate snippets with AI, there is a very important thing to know, which is the 10 rules of vibe coding. On my website, I published this blog post, the complete AI vibe coding guide. 10 rules to publish production ready apps with AI. Just follow these rules to build anything you want with AI and launch your idea on WordPress in a couple of hours. This is the exact way I used to build Tube Digest and Promoter Kit and all my other tools on WordPress. If you are interested, you can check my full course on building MicroSaaS in days with WordPress. I will leave the link in the description below. If you learned something new today, don't forget, smash the like button and see you in the upcoming videos.